It's important that the last baluster is fixed so that it's tight against the top handrail connector in order to conform to building regulations. Position the baluster between the handrail and base rail and check that it's vertical. Then mark the centre position of the baluster bracket to the base rail with a pencil. The screw fixing the base rail to the staircase string should be positioned so that it does not interfere with the baluster bracket fixing screws by marking the position of the base rail screw halfway between the top edge and centre mark of the bracket. Remove the baluster and fix the base rail to the staircase string using a 45mm number 8 countersink screw. Reposition the baluster then fix to the handrail and base rail using the screws supplied. Fix the bottom baluster and make sure the gap between the baluster and newel post is no greater than 99mm to conform to building regulations. For a professional and aesthetically pleasing finish it's important to space the balusters at even intervals between the existing top and bottom balusters. The following calculation will help you to do this. Measure the distance in millimetres between the central spacing marks on the bottom of the first and last balusters you've already fitted. Divide this measurement by 148.5 millimetres. Then round your answer up to the next whole number. Divide this whole number back into your original measurement and this will give you an exact spacing allowing for the width of the baluster. Mark the spacing between the balusters to the base rail. One method of doing this is by setting compasses to the required spacing. Fix all remaining baluster brackets to the balusters using the screws supplied, ensuring the brackets are in line using the blocks of wood as described earlier. Fix the assembled brackets and balusters to the base rail. First, making sure that on every fourth baluster you secret fix the base rail to the staircase string using 45mm number 8 countersink screws. The top baluster brackets can now be fixed to the handrail using a spirit level to check for vertical. You're now ready to assemble the landing balustrading.